I voted for Donald Trump twice. I was proud to serve America in his administration. But rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. And we can't be a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. talk about what you need to do on Tuesday. As you look at this election, you have a choice. This is about, do you want more of the same or do you want to go in a new direction? More of the same is not just Joe Biden, more of the same as Donald Trump. Now, I will tell you, this isn't personal for me. I voted for Donald Trump twice. I was proud to serve America in his administration. But rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. And we can't be a country in disarray and a world on fire and go through four more years of chaos. We won't survive it. And look at the past couple of months. What happened? After New Hampshire, when we got that 43% of the vote, you watched election night. Trump was completely unhinged. All he did was talk about revenge. And my dress, by the way. The next day, he said anybody who supports her is barred permanently from MAGA. Now, think about that. If you're a candidate running for president, your job is to bring people in, not push people out of your club. And then the next day, he goes and pushes the RNC to name him the presumptive nominee. We don't anoint kings in America. We have elections. And then he had a couple of court cases where he had some judgments come down. And he ran it about being a victim. And then just a couple of days ago, we had a great event in Washington, D.C., and he tweeted about the fact that anybody that was voting for me or supporting me would not have access to him. Now, what bothers me about whether it was the night of New Hampshire or whether it's the tweets, At no point is he ever talking about the American people. He's not talking about the fact that we're $34 trillion in debt. He's not talking about the fact that only 31% of eighth graders in our country are proficient in reading. He's not talking about the fact that we have a completely open border. He's not talking about the fact that we have lawlessness in our cities. And he's not talking about the fact that we have wars around the world. All he's doing is talking about himself. And he doesn't understand this isn't about him. This is about the American people. 